Hey guys, my name is Ravish and welcome to Logic Pops Lab. So, today, so this video, we are announcing a new DevOps project series. In this series, we are going to create a lot of real-time projects that are certainly used in IT industry these days. These projects are for all those people who want to grab some real-time experience in DevOps world. So, if you are someone from testing or from business analyst side or from support end and looking to change their career path towards DevOps, this is the right place for you. So now, for this one-stop solution, we are going to create a lot of projects and, and if you follow them diligently, they will help you in your interviews. Before starting this project series, there will be a few prerequisites that you will need to know. So, let's discuss about that. So, as you can see on my screen, this is a DevOps project series. Biologic Ops Lab. My name is Ravish and we are going to talk about the prerequisites today. So when we talk about the prerequisites for this DevOps project series, the first thing you need to know what exactly is DevOps. So I hope you already know it what exactly is DevOps. If not, we are going to cover a separate video on that. After that, we are going to talk about what is continuous integration. After that, we are going to talk about continuous delivery, which is also known as continuous integration like CI and for continuous delivery CI CD. Basically, we, we will talk about that. You need to know the basis, basic scripting skills. So in scripting, you can use any language, but we'll prefer bash over here. If you do not know what exactly is bash scripting, I have a separate course on that and it's for beginners only. So you can start that, finish it within one or two weeks, and then you can jump onto this DevOps project series. After that, you need to know basic troubleshooting skills. Basic troubleshooting skills means there could be a lot of issues that can come while you configure them virtual machines, configure anything or you run any kind of script, you need to know, know how to troubleshoot them or you can just Google, go through Stack Overflow. There will be a lot of information. There will be a plethora of information that would be available on the internet and you can go through that to troubleshoot your stuff. And then you need to know about virtual machines, etc. and your uh, virtual network or virtual storage. If not, we'll talk about that as well. So all these things, what you can, whatever you see on my screen right now about DevOps, CI, CD, the scripting part and the basic basic troubleshooting skills we're going to dedicate one or two videos for that so that you guys can at least have a basic knowledge of what exactly we are going to do in this devops project so that you can start on so all these points are clear to you and having said that if you are going to pay attention to all the videos that i'm going to put in this devops project series we're going to create a lot of projects like five to ten projects so that you can have an idea on how to give interviews on the basis of those and those, those projects, you can create your GitHub account, put the code over there and you can even show at the time of your interview. So this will help you a lot. So I hope these things are clear to you. If you want anything particular to be covered, you can always drop a message on the in the comment section and we're going to address that. So thanks guys and I will see you in the next video.